So this may seem basic to you, but you'd be surprised how many questions we get on the support team based on extensions. So let's get started here. In your account, you'll notice that there are one and two, or I'm sorry, one and three digit extensions. One digit extensions are good for departments and are often used for extensions like sales, billing, and support. Three digit extensions are great for employee extensions and you'll often see these look like 701 for Brittany, 702 for Allison, and so forth. So what is the difference? The extensions work the same. Really the only difference is the number of digits. You can use them however works best for your business. Most stick with the one digit extensions for departments and three digit extensions for employees because there are a lot more of the three digit extensions available. In the default Grasshopper configuration, the single digit extensions are zero through six, Three digit extensions start with seven, so for example, 700, 701, 702, and so on, all the way up to 799. Eight is reserved for the dial by name directory, and nine simply repeats that main greeting. We use extensions to determine how and when to forward Grasshopper calls to your phone number. All of your call forwarding settings are controlled at the extension level. Want to set a voicemail greeting? Record it on the extension you want it to play for. Want to change your call forwarding number? edit it on the extension you want to change it on. Want to update your call forwarding schedule? Edit it on the extension you want it to change on. And want to change what you hear when you answer a call? Edit it, the call announcement settings on the extension you want to edit it for. You don't have to use multiple extensions, but they can be helpful for identifying reasons for incoming calls. For example, using extension one for support and extension two for new customers, or for prioritizing calls. Since extension one is sales, I want to answer that immediately. But because I don't want to miss out on a new deal, extension two is for billing. I can let that go to voicemail and follow up when I have time. Grasshopper can be customized in a lot of ways to fit your business. Today we're going to focus on two of our most popular setups. First, being call forwarding only. So in this setup, you have no main greeting and no extensions for your callers to select. Calls are forwarded right to you based on your call forwarding schedule. Secondly, we have extensions and main greeting. So in this setup, a mean greeting welcomes your callers, and then callers must select an extension before those calls are forwarded. I'm going to start with the simplest setup, the call forwarding only. For this setup, here's what happens when a call comes in. A call comes into your Grasshopper number. Grasshopper checks your call forwarding settings. In this scenario, you have it set to 24-7. So Grasshopper will call, forward the call to you directly based on your call forwarding settings, um, and then the call is connected. So what are the benefits of call forwarding only? It's simple and straightforward. It reduces caller wait times as calls are connected to you automatically. And it's the best of both worlds. You can publish your business number instead of your personal number, but answer calls like you normally would. So next up, we have extensions and the main greeting setup. So what does this look like? For this setup, here's what happens. A call comes into your Grasshopper number. Callers listen to your main greeting to hear what your extension options are. A caller will then select an extension. Grasshopper then forwards the caller to you based on your call forwarding settings on that extension. And then your call is connected. So what are the benefits of this setup? It allows you to look more established and professional. A main greeting and extensions make you look like a bigger company. More control over the calls by prioritizing your calls based on the extension that's left. And less disruption. You can delegate calls to others on your team by who's handling those extensions. Okay, so now that you know a little bit more about extensions and how to use Grasshopper, where I'm going to walk you through how to set each of these up in your online account. So what I'm going to do here is just pull up my account here. And all of you should be pretty familiar with this setup. This is our online portal. So first I'm going to start with the simplest call forwarding option, call forwarding only. So first when you get into your account, I'm going to go to settings and then the numbers tab. In the drop down next to my number, I'm going to select to transfer it to an extension. And then I'm going to select the extension that I want. Right now in my account, I just have extension zero. So I'm going to click that. You can see this little pop-up here that that's been saved. 
As a reminder, even though callers won't be selecting an extension, all of your call forwarding instructions are stored in the extensions. So that's why we need to have an extension here. Callers will still be forwarded directly to you and, you won't, and they won't need to select an extension in this setup. So now let's go check out our extension settings where you can control your call forwarding numbers, schedule, settings, and voicemail greeting. So, when someone calls in, they'll immediately be transferred to extension zero. Now let's decide how we want to handle those calls when they come in. I'm going to click edit next to extension zero, and then edit next to the forwarding number. Here you can see calls are going to be forwarded to this number here, 617-555-7291. This is the number that I entered when I signed up, but if I want it to go somewhere else, I can edit it here. There are also three options on how I want to handle this call when it comes in. We have the default option, which is when you answer the call, we'll call, announce the call to you. You'll hear to answer the call, press 1, to send the caller to voicemail, press 2, and to hear the caller's phone number, press 3. If you don't want to hear this announcement, we recommend the connect as soon as you pick up option this option, you'll answer the call like any other call. As a note, there is a possibility that with this direct connect option, voicemails could be left on your cell phone itself as opposed to your Grasshopper voicemail. If you want to ensure that voicemails do come through to your Grasshopper voicemail box instead of your personal voicemail, you can lower the ring time to 25 seconds. If you prefer that we ask callers their name and then announce that to you, uh, you can do that as well. But again, you'll need to press 1 to accept the call just like in our default option. Next, you can enter a name, so you can, in case you have multiple phone numbers on this extension, it's easy to identify. So here I'm going to enter my name. And then you can decide when you want to receive these calls. So our default option is 24-7, but you can customize it to your business. So you can also choose Monday through Friday 9 to 5, Saturday and Sunday 9 to 5, or design a custom schedule that fits your business needs. I work 9 to 5 on Mondays through Friday, so I'm going to choose that. Next, where do you want the voicemails to be sent to? We send you an MP3 file and a copy or a voice transcription to the email. So the default email that it sent you is the email that you signed up with. If you, however, want a different email, you can edit it here or you can add an additional email here. Lastly, your voicemail greeting. You won't always be able to take calls, so it's a good idea to record a voicemail greeting to set expectations with customers when you miss their call. To record a voicemail greeting, you're going to click Change Greeting and Create New Greeting. You'll see here that there are four options. So you can let our professional voice recording studio do that for you. It is $75 charge, but you can have as many scripts in an order as you'd like. Also, we have record by phone, uh, upload an audio file, or record by computer. For this demo, I'm going to record by computer. So I'm going to click record. Hi, thanks for calling Polly's Photography. Sorry we missed your call. Please leave your name and number and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks. You can then listen to the call or record it if you don't like it, or you can click keep if you're all set with it. I'm going to click keep. Then you can go ahead, scroll up here, click Save and Close, and then click Close. You have successfully set up your account to forward calls directly to you without a main greeting or requiring customers to have, select any extensions. Now I'm going to show you how to set up your account with a main greeting and multiple extensions. So first, I'm going to go back to the Numbers tab by going to Settings, and then Numbers. And from the drop-down, I'm going to change this back to play my main greeting. Okay, so before we record our main greeting, we want to set up our entire account so that way we know exactly what to say in that main greeting. So let's go back to the extensions tab. So you can see that we already have extension zero set up, but it's good to go. Um, however, for the sake of this example, I'm going to name it as sales instead of new extension. So to do that, a uh, few details. I'm 
Next, I'm going to add another extension so that I can have all my billing calls go to a dedicated extension. So I'm going to click Add Extension and then click View Details. So for here, I can put in the extension name as billing. This is just for me so that I can easily tell which each extension is. Customers don't necessarily know this by calling it. We'll have to tell them that on the main extension. You can also see here what the phone pin is. This is really handy if you're going to record a greeting over the phone. And you can also change your time zone so that way we can accurately report your call data for you. Once you're all set, go ahead and click Save. Now for the call forwarding settings. I'm going to change the settings on this number because I don't work 24-7. So I'm going to change that by clicking Edit and selecting Monday through Friday 9 to 5. This time, I'm going to add another call forwarding number because I want my business part partner to answer calls when I can. To do that, just hit save there and then click add a forwarding number. So I'm going to put in his phone number here. I'm going to leave it as call announced so that we both always know which extension is being the call is for. For description, I'm going to put Matt so I know that it's his phone number. And then again, I'm going to change the schedule for him also, also Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, because we work the same schedule. Now, I'm going to click Add this number. Okay, so now you can see that I have the two numbers on this extension. So when a call comes in Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, and chooses extension 1, Grasshopper will first try my number. If I don't answer, it will roll on to the next number on the list, which is Matt's. If Matt doesn't answer, the call will then go to voicemail. Since I added Matt's phone number, I now also want to add his email to get voicemail notifications too, so we both know what's going on. So to do that, I'm going to click Add an Email Address and type it in. Next up is the voicemail greeting. As we mentioned before, there are a few ways you can customize your voicemail greetings. So for this demo, I'm going to record it via computer again. As you can see, it's the same steps. Hi there, you've reached the billing department at Paula's Photography. Sorry we missed your call. Please leave your name, account number, and phone number, and we'll get back to you within one business day. Thank you for calling, and have a great day. Again, you can listen to it. If you don't like it, you can redo it, or you can go ahead and click Keep. So we're done setting up this extension. So now I'm going to scroll up and click Close. So let's recap. We have now have two extensions with their own call forwarding settings and have our number set to play the main greeting. So now we want to make sure our customers know how to reach each of these extensions we set up so we need to record a main greeting. A main greeting is the first thing callers hear when they call your number. They usually sound something like this. Thanks for calling Grasshopper, press one for sales, two for support, and three for billing. For us, we have extensions zero and one set up, so ours will be a dip, bit different. To record a main greeting, I'm going to click Settings and choose the Main Greetings tab. To record a new greeting, click Change Greeting, and you'll see there's a bunch of different things that I can choose. The recording options are the same as they were for the voicemail greeting. This time, I'm going to upload a main greeting file that I have professionally recorded by the Voice Studio. To do this, just click Upload, choose File, find the file, open, and then Upload Greeting. All right, so now that greeting has been uploaded. Just so you know, it says, thanks for calling Paula's Photography, press zero for sales, press one for billing. There you have it, two different setups with their own benefits.